Welcome to Around the World Channel. Gold-colored Trump statue at CPAC draws crowd, Fox News. Former President Trump has not yet made his appearance at the Conservative Political Action Conference CPAC, but a gold-colored statue in his likeness has already stolen the show. Lady Gaga's dad wants dog thieves charged with attempted murder, assault, New York Post. Lady Gaga's dad is calling on investigators to throw the book at the mutts who stole his daughter's cherished pooches and shot her dog walker. Why the royal family is terrified of an interview between Oprah and Meghan and Harry, Slate. It's been a little more than a year since Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, declared their plan to mexit their way out of the British royal family. Satellite images reveal extent of damage caused by Biden administration's first military action, CNN. CNN, the windows blew open. The building shook. At 1.30 a.m. local time Friday, a resident of al bikamal a city near the Syrian-Iraqi border, was jarred from his sleep. McLean, it's time Texans entertain trade offers for Deshaun Watson, Houston Chronicle. To avoid making an ugly situation even uglier, it's time for general manager Nick Casario to listen to the offers the Texans are getting for quarterback Deshaun Watson. Myanmar ambassador fired after extraordinary rebuke of the military before the UNNPR. Anti-coup protesters in Yangon, Myanmar. Myanmar's military government has intensified a crackdown on protesters in recent days, using tear gas, charging at and arresting protesters and journalists. G League to investigate Jeremy Lin's claim that he was called coronavirus on the court, CBS Sports. The G League is looking into a claim made by Jeremy Lin that he was called coronavirus on the court during a game, which he opened up about through a Facebook post. UFC Fight Night 186 loses Angela Hill vs. Ashley Yoder hours before event starts, MMA Junkie. The UFC Fight Night 186 lineup has taken another hit, the women's strawweight fight between Angela Hill and Ashley Yoder scheduled for tonight's main card has been cancelled. U.S. Democratic Representative Kurt Schrader opposes Biden's COVID-19 relief package, OPB News. U.S. Democratic Representative Kurt Schrader early Saturday morning was the only Democratic member of Oregon's congressional delegation to vote against President Joe Biden's new pandemic relief bill, the U.S. FBI targeting single assailant in death investigation of Capitol Police officer, NBC News. The FBI said it is targeting a single assailant as it continues to investigate the death of U.S. Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick, who died from injuries sustained in the January 6 riot. Please, like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay tuned for upcoming news.